Hey everyone, it's Minecraft and Hacker here, and today I'll be showing you how to, um, the reason why, um, you can't see the browse button and everything, else, like, you can't hack the apps anymore. So I'll be explaining why, and if, I'll, I'll be explaining everything else. So, this is an, a, another video made, so, of the first video, the very first video was showing you how to hack apps, paid apps for, uh, for free. Uh, wait, no, how to hack apps for free, um, so make sure to go check that video out. Alright, basically what happened is, um, Apple found out about the hacking thing, and they stopped it when, if you have iOS 8.3 or more, so, so, um, if you remain on the iTools, uh, previous iTools, then, then you'll have to use all the devices as well, before iOS 8.3, but further than iOS 8.3, the newer devices, you cannot hack it anymore because um, Apple found out. I was to try to hack Minecraft or something like that, so they blocked it, and that's what happened. So the reason why, so for example, I've plugged in here my iPad, and let's go to Applications and see your apps. See my apps. And by the way, with the, um, so what happened was, uh, iTools got updated to iTools number 3, iTools number, iTools 3.0, yes, iTools 3.0, and the version is like, 3, I forgot what the version was. I, anyway, by the way, um, you get, uh, on the right side, which is your battery status, how much it's full, how much is full, empty, blah blah blah. So, anyway. Let's get to the chase. The uh, apps you cannot see the browse button anymore. The browse button for the hacks that you want to ha you want to hack, but there's only uh, for some apps. That's because, so for example, Adobe Acrobat. There's a browse button. The reason why they put that there is because uh, you could get all your so you could get all your th all your PDF files that's stored in that. So that's why they let you click the browse button for this and that's why um, you're allowed to and the only game that's allowed that I know is Minecraft which is a popular game so you can still browse and hack it now the reason why it's not allowed anymore is because ever since I was 8.3 uh, you cannot hack, hack apps anymore and it's blocked everything it's blocked and you can't hack it anymore so Apple noticed Apple blocked it and that's why it doesn't work so any program every program should be um, disabled now they can't um, hack the apps anymore uh, so for example iPhone box is another program you can't hack it anymore unless it's a uh, app that's legal to get hacked so unless it's allowed to um, then yeah those ones are gonna get those ones are allowed to get hacked like Minecraft but that one like they they want you. They they want. They allow you to hack it. So now, um, I'll, I'll show you what's new in iTools three. So I know that the um iTools you can't hack that much apps anymore. So that what I'm going to show you. So there are still good things. There are still good things in this um program that came with it as well. That that when it was updated. So let's go to toolbox. And these are all new things that are here, so you could check all these out yourself. But one one that is very important is um, iTools Android Emulator. So if you ever like um, uh, Android Android devices, but you have an iOS device or something like that, you want to. Um, so basically, this is a uh, um, what's it called? Android Simulator. So you simulate I took you simulate um Android. So you simulate the Android device and this basically is a virtual machine. So this let it load, install and so also by the way the, there's also a feature here where you could uh, optimize your optimize your device. So what happens is it makes your device faster and also it frees up your anything that's rubbish, anything that's bad, that's stored on your iPad and I'm pretty sure that um, you don't, there's a lot of things that are stored on your device that you don't know of and so this will remove it so you just scan it and then let's just wait for it to load.
Alright guys, so now um, it's pretty optimized and improved my speed or performance by 5% and solved 13 problems, I have no idea what that was. But the main thing was, so basically I don't have any uh, things that uh, are uh, stored on my iPad, that's bad because I've already optimized it, I've already done this. But I freed up about 3 gigs, 3 gigs of uh, space. That's very good because, um, well to me it's very good because I have like only... 12 gigs on my iPad, 16 gig iPad, so on my device. So, but if you have like 128 gigs, I think um, it won't matter to you that much because 3 gigs isn't that much, but it still is a lot to me. So, this will free up some space and you can download all these other games and movies that you like. So, let's get to the emulator, and there, there you go, it's finished uh, installing. And you basically have a, you're basically running an Android device right now on your PC. So why you want this, why would you want this, is because um, there are some apps that, apps and games that you might want to, like to run on this, and this is a cool way to also uh, run them. So if you like to um, play games on, you can't play games on your PC, like, um, for example, you don't have enough space to install them, you could install them on here. Alright, so, I don't, I don't know, there's another reason as well. I, I'm just think, thinking of anything. Alright, anyway, uh, so first of all, you want to go to the settings, and scroll down, you want to go to this, this, first one, and scroll down, click on English, whatever English you are. And now the language has been changed to the language to English so now everything is English the, the way you want it so for example if you want to get install an app so here's the notification bar and all that hang on let me show you this first uh, if I do this hot, by the way I just held left click warp areas I just want to change it let's just change it to something nice and uh, set wallpaper and there you go, so you, there's all these other stuff, Play Store, by the way, there's these all work, browser, but some people are thinking, well, mm, I already have a PC and it has browser and everything, I'll u that, why don't I I'll use that, it's better. Well, you could get games for free, how? Well, uh, you could go back to the setting, and, wait, hang on, exit. And by the way, you could also record. No, it's not this. This one. You could also record the screen. So if you're making a presentation or video, you could record it. And all right. So how you get get uh, games for free? All right, guys. So what's supposed to happen is here at the bottom there should be another device that's supposed to come up, which is created by this, but it's not. Um, it's not working. It's not coming up here. Because I'm on a different account, so it should come up here. You click on it, go to applications, and then there should be Android Market. Market. Then search for the game you want. For example, well, Minecraft, Minecraft. Nope. I want mine. There you go. Or you could get whatever app you want. So just wait for it to load. Which version is this? Minecraft Pocket Edition, nope it's definitely not that. Minecraft Pocket Edition game. Nope it's definitely not that. Minecraft Pocket Edition, yes it's this. So, um, another way, so you could download your game, so another way, just go back. There's also tons of games on the start. Okay, just go to Hamp, just go to Minecraft. Here it is. My God! Click on install, download whatever it is. So some things are still remaining in the other language, but um, most of the things has been translated into English. All right, just wait for it. It should be installing. Uh, by the way, uh, this is your manager where you create your know, Android devices, so you click plus and start creating your other Android devices if you want to make more than one. So, like, basically accounts for your Android devices, this is your first one that you get created with. 
So I can't install it right now because uh, it's not coming up the other device. So that's how you do it. So you get your paid apps for free for Android as well. So if I want to um, install any game, I could play it on here. Also through the Play Store if it's free. You could download it and you could play it. There's also another program similar to iTools called iPhone Box, but it still won't work. It's the same thing as iTools, except iTools has way more features. And that's it, basically. That's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any suggestions, leave a uh, comment down below. No, we'll make a video about it. Or see you, see you next time, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah.